So after watching Katharina Gross, um, really what stood out to me was her fascination just by like very ordinary everyday things like um, the trees and the soil and the landscape and the, um, what she was talking about she got her inspiration from. She's very unorganized, but she that's the way that she like her thought process is. Um, her, the scale of her works also are very large. She was talking about one that was like 30 feet high and um, um, she was talking about how the trees are larger, even though they're small and delicate, they're larger than her works, but they're just a piece of that. Um, another thing that stood out to me was how she was talking about the theater and how it was a big influence on her childhood and music and being theater and her mom made her and her brothers paint the garage walls with little um, images, hoping it would all come together in one big painting. Um, something else that stood out to me is a large amount of paint that she, that they mix up to make her sculptures, not like a little delicate painting that you would think of when you think of a painter, but she's painting these really large sculptures with spray guns and she's mixing these large buckets of paint. Um, and she finds interest in just really, really ordinary things like folding things when she was folding the papers and finding things like that. Um, and she's interested in the scale exhibition of things. Um, she also, what stood out was that she doesn't deem herself a painter or a sculptor and she doesn't think that's important or makes herself uh, any better of an artist or makes her work any more radical. Um, but if you take the sculpture away, then the painting isn't there. And if you take the painting away, then it's the metaphor, the metamorphosis of the sculpture isn't there. So I found that interesting. Um, what seemed essential to understanding her methods was that she was talking about resetting the idea of what a painting is, and this really did because when I first thought, oh, she's a painter, then I was thinking portraits and things like that. But this is how paintings appear in space, and um, she thinks what needs to be in this space, and she goes out and she takes from the landscape, and then she makes sculptures from that. Um, she takes things that are large and clunky and then she put watercolors on top of it. So just really out of the ordinary things. Um, another thing about her workspace is it's all unplanned. It's very chaotic. She worked with her bro brother who was an engineer and just brought him in. And he was the only worker with her that didn't have an artist background. And it was just kind of like, go ahead. So she, um, she just... I guess the word doesn't, not necessarily doesn't care, but she, um, she's go with the flow. Um, and she says that her work is not idea based, but thought based. And so her, um, thought processes and agreements in her own mind, um, are something that cannot be thought out or planned beforehand. And she just creates them as she works. And, um, she also chooses colors based on the light in the space that she creates. So she figures out that space. The darker space she uses that bright yellow that glows in the space um another one of her methods all her colors are raw they're not mixed so that they are a direct voice with the body when they see raw colors and that emotion and that dramatic effect is in there um she also makes things for herself that she enjoys to look at so i think that was really important in both things that stood out to me and then her method of working